Story 1. Hello, my bro Richards. What? And why didn't you call me just Richards? Ha ha ha. Because I have great news today. What could it be? I just won 100,000 Robux. Seriously? Of course, my papa gave me that as my birthday gift. Good for you, Ed. Happy 17th birthday to you. Thanks. But ah, can I ask you something? Sure. We're still friends, right? What kind of question is that? Of course, we're still friends. Thank you for not leaving me even when you're rich. Yeah, I'm not that kind of bad friend. Does that mean you'll share some of your Robux with me? No. Are you kidding me? I hate people who enjoy bragging. Ha ha ha, relax, Richards. I won't share a little bit of my rue with you because I can give you more than that. Really, ha. Huh? Ha ha, I knew you would say so. Thank you, and sorry for being rude to you earlier. That was just a joke. Okay, no problem. Here you go. What? 15,000 Robux? What's the matter? You want more? Ha! Huh? No, that's not what I mean. This is even more than enough, ha ha ha. Alright, enjoy it. I'll change my avatar. How about you? Yeah, I'll do that too. Let's do this together. 3, 2, 1. Mike and Rich changed their avatars. Done. I like this one. What the hell is going on? My avatar isn't updated yet. Come on, hurry the hell up. Hey, what's wrong with you? Just calm down and wait for a few more minutes. Can you please shut up? Finally, I look great with this new avatar. Yeah, I think so too. Nice choice, Rich. Did I ask for your opinion? No. I just wanted to give you a compliment. But I don't need it, okay? Keep your mouth shut. And you know what? Your avatar looks stupid. Change it. Nope, I don't think I will. And you should stop being toxic, Rich. Don't push things too far. I almost had enough of you. Are you commanding me? Yeah, maybe. And if you're uncomfortable, you can give me back my Robux. Never. Then stop being toxic. Otherwise, I can take back the Robux I gave you. What? What are you kidding me? Nope. Now, let's play Super Speed. Super Speed Run, huh? Yeah, you know that game too, huh? Of course, and I really hate that game. It made me angry because I couldn't pass the last stage. What a stupid game. Yeah, because you're a stupid player. What did you say? Nope, nothing. I said I passed the last stage without too much effort. Are you trying to drive me crazy? Forget it. So what do you want to play? 825 stages Abby. Very well. That sounds interesting. In 825 stages, Abby. Hey, slow down. I can't catch up with you. Okay. Ugh. This game is so stupid too. So many invisible obstacles. Ugh, not again. I stepped on a hidden trap. Oh no, why am I sent back to the starting line? What's wrong with this stupid dude, and why am I stuck with him? Hey. What? Step on that arrow, that's the checkpoint. What do you mean? Step up if you don't want to be sent back to the starting line. Okay. They finally finished the game. Did you have fun? No, I hate that game. Okay. <laughs> hey, what are you giggling at? Nothing. Don't bother. I want to have a girlfriend. Let's see if I can find a pretty girl here. That's not going to happen. What did you say? No. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? How annoying. Who would I date? You see that bacon girl over there? Where? 
She's coming. Hell no, we're not on the same level. Hey, you arrogant dishabag. Hey, that girl looks pretty. I'll approach her. Who? Are you? Blind? Yeah. I saw her. Don't get in my way. Fine. They approached the girl. Hi, pre pretty. What? Are you talking to me? Of course, who else? Well, that was really rude. What? Hi, my name is Mike. Hi, Mike. My name is Queenie. Nice name. Hidden message to Mike is that young buffalo your friend? Yeah, his name is Richards. Yeah, cool. He must be a nice person. Absolutely. Okay. He's a good friend of mine. I can't understand what you both are saying. You don't have to. Fine. Queenie. Will you be my girl? Are you crazy? We just met. Whatever, let's play some tower games. I don't like tower games. Then what do you want to play? How about Brookhaven? I haven't played it for a while. Yeah, I like that game. No. No one cares. Okay, fine. Please let me join. Good. Welcome. I'll create a server. I'm joining in. Me too. In Brookhaven. My laptop is running out of battery. I need to get the charger. Richards underscore corn left the game. Should we play another game? How about speed run? Okay. Queenie was the winner. You played well. Thank you, Mike. And I think I like. What? I'm back. Both looked at Rich. Why are you staring at me? Don't bother. Queenie. Can we talk in private? Okay, but I'll give you only four minutes. Aw, thanks. In private chat. Say it, Richards. I was thinking about one thing. Let's kick Mike out. Reason? He got in my way, and please don't disagree. Nonsense. Please understand. I don't want to. But I love you, Queenie. And I don't love you. That's all. Besides, isn't Mike your good friend? Are you going to throw that friendship away? Who cares about that friendship? Your four minutes are over. I'll try again after a few more weeks. Back to the group chat. What did he tell you? Don't mind that, my dear Mike. What did you just call him? Sorry if I made you uncomfortable. I'm okay with that. I'm leaving. See you. See you. Let's play another game. Nah, not really. So what do you want to do? Talking with you, Queenie. Oh, is that so? Yeah, are you okay with that? I'm okay, but not really. I feel shy. Alright, I'll be a brave man. I want to tell you something. Huh, what could it be? Give me a few seconds. Okay. Well. I like you. And I mean it. If you're not going to agree, please don't hate me. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, it's true. Then you should know that I like you too. What? That's awesome. Happy day. And I think we should tell Rich about our relationship. Okay, let's do this. A few minutes later, Richards returned. Richards? Yeah, Queenie. Let me tell you something. You want to be my girlfriend, right? Absolutely not. New rules. I don't want to hang out with Mike. Talking to other boys. And you better have lots of Roblox. Rich, I'm not asking you to be my boyfriend. Then what did you want to tell me? Queenie and I are in love. What are you? You joking? Nope, it's not a joke. You broke my heart. I don't care. I'm going to dress up depressed so then Mike will feel bad and be with me. 
I will get changed into it. Now it looks good. I'll dress like Mike. Maybe that will make Queenie like me. Please work. No, this plan has to work. Back to the group chat. Guys. Now what? Zip it, Mike. What do you want? I feel so bored. Why? Look at my avatar. It looks ugly. No one can accept that reason. What? Why? You can never understand. I said shut up. You don't feel bored. You are just toxic. Well, I... Okay, you can say whatever you want. Are you still in love with Mike? Of course. Why are you asking that? Nope. Don't bother. See ya. Ha. Huh. Meanwhile, Richard. That stupid plan didn't work. I need another plan. Hey, I like this one. Why am I being so mean to Mike? He... He is my good friend. After thinking thoroughly, I don't want to lose that friendship. I don't even know if I like Queenie or not. I have to say sorry to them honestly. Back to the group chat. I'm sorry for everything. Can you please forgive me? All right, we'll forgive you. Just you, not me. Why? Why? Richards, you know you messed up pretty bad, right? Yeah. I messed up big time. Well, I appreciate that you're owning up to it, but it's not just about Mike, I'm also hurt. You really hurt my feelings, Richards. I know, Queenie. I never meant to hurt you. It was stupid and thoughtless of me. Look, Richards, we've been friends for a long time. And I believe in second chances. But you need to make it up to Queenie. And how are you planning to do that? Well, first, I want to apologize to you, Queenie. I'm really sorry for what I said and did. It was wrong, and I regret it deeply. I appreciate the apology, but I need some time to think about it. Do you still like me? Do you still want me to be your girlfriend? Of course not, you're dating my best friend. Okay, I forgive you. So, are we still friends? Maybe. The end. Story 2. Good morning, everyone. Come on, wake up. Jeez, Mika, why the heck? Is your ass awake yet 4 fucking 30 in the goddamn morning? It's fine, don't yell at her, she's just bored, and I was already awake. Well, not everyone in the group chat was awake. What time did you think it was to make you say good morning? 9 o'clock? What in the actual fact made you think it was 4 hours after the real time? Will you three shut it? I woke up because of you freaks. Don't talk over me shithead. Leave. Oh, not Mike's precious beauty sleep. Shut up, Henry. It's not like you weren't woken up as well. Oh, whatever, I'm going back to bed. Oh well, I was wandering around this forest, and I found a huge tree. What did you do, Mika? I found a lost frisbee trapped in it, so I climbed the tree. So then? I grabbed it and fell off the tree. Are you okay haha? Huh? Yeah, I found out it was a bird. You mistook a bird as a frisbee. I knew you were just a bit dumb, but... I remember I had a dream where I was riding a magical flying unicorn, and then it made me fall off, but then I woke up. Anyways, what were you doing in the forest at this time? Well, I wanted some fresh air because I got stupidly upset with Luna. What about me? You know what, it'd be easier to scroll up. Hey guys, I couldn't sleep. Sorry, Mika. It's okay. Whoa, what did I just hear? Did Luna just, apologize? What happened? My Discord crashed. Hold up. Luna said sorry. Why'd she go offline? The next day. Good morning, everyone. Wanna play a game? I'm down to play anything at the moment. Me too. I'm choosing the game. Please, not a horror game again. I almost fainted yesterday. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just join me. They join Luna and a tycoon for a bit. 
They all find it fun and join a different one and play for a while. I'm getting quite tired. See you. Of course, you're tired, you're the deepest sleeper in this group. Shut it. Good night. It's getting late, and I have to get up early tomorrow. Good night. It's just not the same without Henry. Bye. Well then? Well then what? Do you want to play something? Sure, I don't mind. Join me. They both play a game for about an hour. I'm sorry, it's getting late. Good night, I'll talk to you later. Mike. I know you're awake. You don't sleep this early. Mike 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 I know you hear me. God damn, Luna, what is so important that you have to spam me? Alright, listen up. You will not tell anyone about what I'm about to tell you. And what if I do, huh? Then I'm telling the entire group chat about your crush. You wouldn't dare. I will. Fine, what is the secret that you're so serious about, anyway? So, what's the secret? I like someone in this group chat. Whoa, that's a first. Who is it? I, like Mika. What? This all makes sense now, the apologies, the way you're soft. Mike. And how you hang out with her more. Mike, I know. I refuse to believe you like her. I do, believe me. It's so stressful to like someone like her or even think about her. She's dumb and cute, but I have freaking issues. How will a dumb person like her handle someone as rude as me? We're truly opposite. There's no way she could handle me if I were her, girlfriend. No way in hell. She was able to handle you for who knows how long you've known her for, but I doubt she'll understand a confession. Exactly, since I like Mika, how could I even confess to her without cracking my head open? God, I wish the ground could just open up and swallow me whole. It's going to be okay, Luna. She will understand, I guarantee it. It won't be too hard to confess to someone as nice as Mika. Not too freaking hard. She's a total. How can she even like me when she's sweet and I'm rude? There's no possible way I could get her to like me back. At this point, I should just try my best to move on. Move on. I know how you can confess, dimwit. We always FaceTime and know each other's faces. We could meet up, you could be alone with Mika, hand out flowers, then confess. She will understand. With flowers? What if she's been secretly pining on you for years, who knows? Okay, you're right. I can do this. But she'll never like me back. What's the point if I know she'll reject me? The only option is to move on. No, it isn't. We've known each other for years, and we're her only friends, plus she's a lesbian. Don't give up already. You cannot be freaking serious, Mike. I don't think she'll reject me. I know she will. You can do it. Don't pay attention to the worst possible situations, just figure out how to confess for now. Okay, whatever Mike, you sound confident. When will you ever confess to him like this? When pigs fly. Touché, Luna. But seriously, focus on your confession for now. Maybe one day, I'll gather the courage to confess too. Well, I appreciate your support, Mike. And hey, who knows? Maybe when pigs do start flying, it'll be a sign for both of us to take that leap. Huh, fair enough. But for now, let's plan your confession to Mika. What's your next move? I guess I'll start by talking to her more, you know, spending even more time with her. Good idea. Get closer as friends, and when the time feels right, make your move. And remember, Luna, even if things don't turn out the way you hope, I'll still be here for you. Thanks, Mike. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. No problem, Luna. Now go and start your journey to confessing your feelings to Mika. Who knows, it might just turn out better than you think. Yeah, I'll try to stay positive. Thanks for being there for me, Mike. So then it bit me in the mole. 
the teeth were so sharp. I just wanted to play with it because I thought it was a stray kitten at first. Mika, are you on some kind of drugs? No. What are drugs? You know what? Never mind, then. Finally, you guys are here, even I woke up before you too. Okay, Henry, we were up late private chatting. What about? None of your freaking business. The next day. Guys, wake up. I want to ask something. Hi, what's your question? Hold on, I want to ask everyone in this group chat. Hi, what's up, Rini? Henry's not awake yet. Jeez. Shut up. I'm blocking my teeth. Okay, whatever. What do you want, Rini? Well, yesterday, I became friends with this girl in Ragdoll. Get to the point. And we became friends because our outfits look similar. Okay, so what? Could I add her? Ew, no way in hell. Since when did you make friends? I hate women. Who are you adding? I will add her anyways. Val has been added by Rini. Hello, my name is Val. She looks nothing like your freaking avatar. Yes, she does. You're just delusional. Whatever you say. Why hello, would you like an introduction? Of course, your voice is so adorable. No one cares, just move on. I wanna go first. I'm Mika, and I'm 16. Rini and 18. I'm Henry 15. Mike I'm 17. I'm Valentine and I'm 17. Luna 17. I love your name, Val. Thank you. I think Mika's a cute name too. Do you ever shut up? Are you and Mika a thing? No, Luna's just like that. Let's just play a game. I'm down if everyone else doesn't mind. Of course. I'm down. Finally, something interesting. Alright, how about a game of two truths and a lie? We can learn more about each other that way. Sounds good. Who wants to go first? I'll start. Let's see. Two truths and a lie. Okay, I can play the guitar, I've been to three different countries, and I've never broken a bone. You play the guitar. I find that hard to believe. Well, that's your first guess. I'll reveal the lie later. Luna, you're up next. All right, here it goes. I can speak three languages, I've traveled to five different states in the US, and I'm a vegetarian. Three languages. Impressive if true. You'll have to guess which one's the lie. Rini, your turn. Let's see. I've been skydiving, I have a pet turtle named Sheldon, and I've never eaten sushi. Skydiving? That sounds thrilling. We'll find out if it's true or not soon enough. How about you, Mike? Okay, here are mine, I'm a black belt in karate, I've won a cooking competition, and I've never been on an airplane. Wow, a black belt in karate. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Henry. Now it's your turn. I'm the youngest of five siblings, I've climbed a mountain, and I once accidentally locked myself in a bathroom for an hour. Locked in a bathroom for an hour? That must have been an interesting story. You'll find out soon enough. And finally, Mika, it's your turn again. Okay, here are mine. I can juggle three balls, I've been to a music festival, and I've never broken a bone. You can juggle? That's a cool skill. Thanks, Val. Alright, everyone, take your guesses on who's telling the truth and who's lying. I'm going to say Val's lie is not playing the guitar. You'll have to wait and see. Mika, any guesses? I think Luna's lie is being a vegetarian. We'll see about that. I'm gonna log off. See you. I don't mind. Alright, join me. They all drop out in the air bay and play for a couple of hours. Henry notices Luna online and leaves the game to private chatter. Hey Luna. Hello, are you there? Sorry, I was thinking. No worries, alright. Why are you acting weird? What do you mean? 
I mean that if you meet someone new, you're shy, not rude. Is this about Val and Mika? Are you jealous? I don't know what you're talking about. Practically everyone knows except Val and Mika. Don't lie to me. So it's obvious. Mika doesn't know because she's not interested in me. That doesn't give you the right to be rude to Valentine. You don't even know if Mika likes her back. Back to the group chat. If I were to walk around the earth, would I go upside down at one point? What? No. But the earth is round, so if it's round and if I were to walk around it, then it would happen. No, that wouldn't happen. So, is the earth flat? Never mind that. Where is Henry? Probably still sleeping his head off. It's 2 fucking p.m. Hi, what did I miss? You missed Mika being a total dumbass. Where have you been? Why do you care? Maybe because it's literally 2 p.m. Okay, anyways, I just woke up, and I don't know what to eat. Help me. Go cook something. I can't cook. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna go change my avatar. No one cares. He's taking so long. I'm back. Seems like most of you don't like it. Your voice sounds nothing like your avatar would. Yeah, your voice doesn't match your face. Everyone would expect your emo ass to have a deep voice or something. But you don't have a deep voice yet emo. Anyone gonna talk about my saying my Henry? Since when? Ha <laughs> ha. Scroll up. What? I don't know what you're talking about. So you got anything to say, Henry? About what I was eating, my crackers? You're eating crackers for breakfast. Yeah, so what? I can't cook. Just eat some ramen or something. Don't you know how to make ramen? But these crackers are so good. I dropped the last one texting you guys. This is all your fault, except Mike. He's fine. I hate each and every one of you, all else you all except Mike owe me, new crackers. How the hell does that make any sense? Why is Mike the only one who isn't getting scolded? Don't you get it? Henry likes Mike. Guys, I found a boomerang look. Sin's photo. Mika, that's a fucking tree branch. Is your eyesight okay? Yes, why do you ask? Anyways, I was wondering if we could meet up since we all live in the same area. You guys in? That sounds like fun. Anytime. Sure. But when and where? At asterisk 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 asterisk. And maybe 2 p.m. next week. I'm free. I'll come. Uh, Mike? Hello, Mike? Henry, you broke Mike. Can't believe you're accusing me of such a thing. So you did? No, how would I even break him? The next morning. Hey, guys. Wanna play a game? It's back. I thought you died yesterday or something. You're up early. Who are you? Shut up, Mike. I don't sleep that much. I want to play a game too. I pick. Good I can't stand any more of those easy obbies. Henry is choosing. Shush. If you're so good at choosing, then go ahead. It's Rini's turn to choose. Don't skip him. Where's Luna? She's awfully quiet. Is she still asleep? You dumbass. How the hell can I be in this FaceTime call if I'm asleep? Your camera was off. I didn't know you were in this call, dipshit. Well, now you know. I'll turn my camera back on. Good morning, Luna. Alright, now that we're all here, let's play the game. They all join Rini and her tall man and finish a few chapters. After some hours and quit playing. Goddamn Mika's fucking screeching made me go deaf. I swear to God. She's fine. She literally said she hates horror games. What did you expect? And it's your fault you made her go in front. She never goes in front. I just wanted to see. It's fine. Honestly it was pretty scary, but it was super fun. 
We should play again. Mika's right. It was fun. But I forgot the code, and chapter 1 was pretty short. I remember the code. I'll write it down or something. I literally cannot take another horror game. It nearly made me fall out of my chair. Anyone down to play Breaking Point? Nope. I'm gonna log off for the day. I'm gonna play some Arsenal. See you later. I'm down. I haven't played Breaking Point for a while. All right. Join me. I have something to say to you. Are you joining us, Luna? No. I'm feeling some arsenal, so I'm gonna join Mike. All right, talk to you later, Luna. Luna joins Mike in arsenal, and after a bit, they both see Mika and Valentine online and leave the game to talk with them. Oh, hey, guys. Hi, Luna. Wow, no hi to me. Hi, Mike. Um, Mika. Are you okay? You seem to be acting weird. Uh, yeah, I just need some space at the moment. I'm gonna log off. Bye. Good night. Bye Mika. Sweet dreams. Does anyone else think Mike is acting unusual? Yeah, I hope she's okay. Do you know why she's being weird, Valentine? Not a chance. We were just playing, and I told her something. It wasn't important, though. Okay, good night, Valentine. Good night, Val. Night. Thanks. Good night. Well, to be honest, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going as well. Identity fraud? Hmm, sure. Also, are you going to the meetup with everyone? Luna suggested meeting at Ohio Park on Sunday. Of course. Also, could I tell you something? Don't tell anyone, but I like Henry. Wow, surprising. Now, let's play. What? You knew. I'm getting impatient. How did you know? Shut up, lover boy. I always thought you guys were obvious. Now shush and join me. After play. Hey, guys, where's Henry? School ended. He should be online. Um yeah. I don't think it's easy for him to find out his best friend likes him in that way. Huh. What do you mean? You told Rini you like Henry in the group chat. I don't think he wanted to find out this way. Well, no Val. I meant that it's not easy for him to process these feelings right now. It's gotta be a shock for him. Exactly, Rini. Confessing like that in a group chat might have put him in a difficult spot. Oh man, I didn't realize it would be so complicated. I just wanted to be honest about how I feel. Well, I think it's important that you talked about it, but maybe you should have done it privately with Henry first. Yeah, Val's right. Honesty is great, but it can be overwhelming in a group setting. And it's not fair to put him on the spot like this. He might need some time to process everything. You're right, I should have thought about that. I'll message him privately and apologize. That's a good idea, Mike. Give him some space to process his feelings, and hopefully, things will work out. Yeah, and if he values your friendship, he'll understand that you were just being honest about your feelings. Exactly, it's important to be considerate of his emotions during this time. I'll be right back. Good luck, Mike. What? So you're telling me that Henry scrolled up and read our conversation? Nailed it. And you didn't bother to tell me, Rini? I thought you knew, and you never would have confessed anyway. This is a good time. It's going to be alright, Mike. Just because he went offline doesn't mean he's going to hate you for this. Yeah, he's probably just stunned, and maybe Mika is talking to him right now. He's most likely calm and just figuring out what to say. No, you guys don't get it. I figured out a way to confess to him, and it definitely wasn't like this. I never wanted him to find out this way. You'll be okay. Who knows? What if he likes you back? Let's just wait till they're here. Yeah, Henry is a calm person. He won't freak out. 
I don't know what to do right now, Mika. My crush likes me back. This is serious. I thought he was a straight man. I can't take this. I always thought he'd just move on. I never wanted to find out like this. It's going to be okay, Henry. It's not bad, your crush likes you back. At least he doesn't hate you. But what the hell do I even say? I'm so embarrassed right now. God knows what will happen when I open that chat. It's okay, Henry, just calm down. The worst that could happen is that he doesn't like you back. And if he does, you can talk to him. Easy for you to say. You don't know how this feels. I think about him every day. I've never dated anyone. Just find the right words to say. Don't be afraid, he will text you first. There's nothing to worry about. Alright, then. I guess I'm just going to rest for a bit since I'm stressed. Thank you, Mika. Anytime, I hope you find a good time to talk to Mike. Yeah, I hope so too. I just need to gather my thoughts and not overthink it. That's the spirit, Henry. Take your time and be yourself. It'll work out. Thanks for being such a good friend, Mika. You're always there when I need you. Of course, Henry, that's what friends are for. Just remember, I'm here to support you no matter what happens with Mike. I appreciate that more than you know. All right, I'll talk to you later, Mika. Take care, Henry. I'll be here whenever you need to talk. Good luck. Are you okay, Mike? Yes, Valentine, I'm so happy that my crush found out I'm head over heels for him in the stupidest way possible. No Val I'm freaking stressing. I'm sorry, Mike. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have freaked out. I'm just stressed. It's alright, Mike. He likes you back. He's probably just sleeping it off. Yeah, you're right. There isn't a time he isn't tired. Whereas Mika, shouldn't she be back by now? Yeah, I'll go find her. Alright, Mike is playing ragdoll by herself. What for? What are you doing here by yourself? Oh, uh, I was just playing alone. But you never play alone. You could have asked us to play. I'll go tell the others to join. I'm fine, Luna, really. I just need some space. Please leave me alone. Don't bother them. I need time to think. I have a lot on my mind. Alright, then. We'll give you some space. You can talk to me anytime. Yeah, thanks, Luna. Whatever you say. Bye, Mika. Hey, Luna, where is Mika? She said she needs space alone. Oh, well Henry isn't coming online anytime soon. After 30 minutes. So then snake bit me. Now my nose hurts. It has an uncomfortable band-aid on it. Why? Just why did you pick up the snake? I thought it was cute. Love, how do you think a snake is cute? It looked like a ferret until my brother said it was a snake. Hey, Mike, how are you doing? Awful. Henry hasn't been online for the past two days. I'm worried sick. Don't worry. I don't think Henry would want you sad. He's just taking a tiny break. Yeah, by tomorrow, he'll be back. I can't wait till tomorrow, though. I'm so anxious. Just go play a game to calm you down. Yeah, a little game with someone won't hurt. If I'm not feeling well, I would play a game with Henry and talk to him about it. Well, play with Aiden. You haven't talked to him or mentioned him for a while. Alright, but Henry hates Aiden. I haven't talked to him since. Let's just hope this helps me get over Henry. Don't say that, he most definitely likes you back. Just because he's taking a break doesn't mean he doesn't like you. He's just thinking. Yeah, you can go play with him. But it won't make you feel better if you pretend you don't like Henry anymore. He's right. But playing with Idong can get your mind off all this. Thank you, guys. I'll go play with him for a few hours. Um, hi Aiden. Oh my god, Mike. It's been a while. Yeah, I just have a lot happening right now, haha. I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Yeah, can we join a game? I don't see why not. Join me. Mike joins Aiden. 
and he explains what happened between him and Henry. Aiden comforts him, and they keep playing the game for a few hours. Thanks for understanding and being there for me, Aiden. No problem. If anything like that happens again, come talk to me. Will do. Anyone have a clue on what Rini is doing? No, why? He's online and muted, also not responding to my DMs. I'm at McDonald's. Oh, get me a happy meal? One time I had a happy meal when I was little, and I choked on the toy. I never ordered a happy meal again ever since. Henry, you're back. <gasps> Took you long enough. Welcome back. Hi. Where's Mike? I think I'm ready to talk to him. He's playing a game with Aiden. Aiden? Are you kidding? We're dead serious. I can't join. They're in a private server. None of us are friends with Aiden. I'm pretty sure. Not even Henry. I thought he would. Why would I? I blocked him. I suspected that Mike would have both his best friends meet. Oh, so he wasn't kidding about you hating him. He knew too. Yet he's playing with him still. It was us. We suggested it since they haven't talked in a while. That's right, we thought it might be a good opportunity to mend things between you two. We know it's been a bit tense lately, and we figured a game could help break the ice. And Aiden is a good mediator. He's friends with both Mike and you, Henry. Well, I appreciate your efforts, but I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him yet. Come on, Henry, it's been long enough. Whatever happened between you two, it's time to move past it. And remember, you can always start by just playing the game with them. No need to dive into deep conversations right away. Yeah, it's just a game, after all. No pressure. And if things get awkward, we're here to support you. Alright, I guess I could give it a try. Thanks, guys. The end. Story 3. Daddy, can I download Roblox? Of course you can. Hee <laughs> hee thank you, Daddy. I want to find some friends. I really want to play with someone else. Cool. But don't forget your dinner. Okay, Dad. On Roblox game. Well cool. I love this look. Now let's find some friends. Hey guys. Can I play with you guys? Ah, uh, who are you? We don't know you. Guys, maybe she's new. So what? I don't like you. Go away. Why? Am I wrong? Yes, you're so ugly. Really? But I think I'm cute. Hee <laughs> hee. What the heck? Are you so carefree? Don't be so mean to her. By the way, your outfit looks so cool. Of course. How can I have such an appearance? You need to get Robux. What is Robux? Gosh, are you an idiot? Guys, stop. Wait, wait, I really want to play with you guys. But I'm newbie. And I don't know how to get Robux. You need to recharge to buy Robux. Robux can buy new outfits. Oh, I get it. Wait, give me a second. Oh shoot, you can't have Robux that fast. Why? I tried asking Robux's mother. And she refused many times. It wasn't until much later that my boyfriend gave me some new Robux. But now we broke up hee hee. Darn, you're really evil, Rose. I know I know, thanks. I have to fast for breakfast to buy Robux. It took me three weeks. Damn poor you. Poor me. And what about you? Hummy. No, I have aerobics as a gift. A friend gave it to me. Cool, I can have Robux right now. Ha, huh, impossible. Why? Because I'm rich. What? Give me ten minutes. Ten minutes later. Tada. I'm done. No way. No way. Are you really that rich? You can have the most expensive outfit ever. 
Impossible. Wow, you look so cool. Can I play with you guys now? Oh, of course you can. Ha ha ha. Welcome to our team. Yay thanks, guys. Two hours later. I almost forgot. What is your name? All of you. My name is Rose. I'm Brian. And I'm Austin. Nice to meet you. I'm Layla. Nice to meet you too. Layla. Can you tell about your life and family? Yeah, we are very curious. Why are you so curious? Because of my Robex? Yeah. Ah, uh, I mean no hee hee. We're just curious about you. She's right. You're so interesting. Really? Thank you, guys hee hee. Actually, my dad is a CEO, and I'm also managing a few separate branches. That's why I have a lot of money, since I was young. Wow, sounds cool. Dang it. You're so amazing Layla. It's great that we can be your friends. Let's be friends forever and ever Layla. Oh my god, I love you guys so much. Ah. Layla. Can I talk to you in private? Sure, why not? Hey hey, what do you want to say to her? She's our friend. Yeah, we will listen to it together. No, just five minutes, okay? I won't say too much. It's okay, Brian. I will talk to you. Thanks, Layla. So, what's up? Don't you feel that there's something strange about Rose and Austin? No, what do you mean? They are a bit cranky at first. But later on, they are very friendly. And I like them. That's the problem, girl. I mean, you are very rich. And what you don't like me? Oh no, that's not what I mean. Fine, whatever. I just want to advise you that you shouldn't trust them too much. Why? I don't know how to explain it to you. But don't talk about this with them. Otherwise, they will hate you and me. Oh okay, I get it. It's just that they seem a bit too interested in your wealth, Layla. I've heard rumors about them taking advantage of wealthy people in the past. Really? That doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, that's why I wanted to warn you. Keep an eye out and be cautious. Not everyone has good intentions. Thanks, Brian, for looking out for me. I'll be careful around them and watch for any signs of deceit. That's all I ask, Layla. Your friendship means a lot to me, and I want to make sure you're surrounded by trustworthy people. I appreciate that, Brian. Let's keep this between us, though, so we don't cause any unnecessary tension. Agreed. We'll look out for each other. Why is it so long? We've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, but I need to go first. See you guys later. See ya. See ya. He really is a weirdo. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he doesn't talk much and is quite mysterious. Nah, I don't like him too much. But I really like you Layla. Thank you. By the way, let's meet in real life. Cool. Yeah, I love that idea. Let's meet tomorrow. Can you make an appointment with Brian to help me? Of course, I can. Don't worry. Thank you so much. Then we met each other. Hey guys, I'm here Layla. Oh my Layla. It's me, Rose. You're so beautiful, my girl. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Hi guys. Hi Brian. You look so amazing. Haha <laughs> thanks. So, what about me? You look amazing too. I know, ha ha ha. Would you like to go out to dinner with me? I will be the one to pay. Darn cool. I love it. Yeah, me too. Oh, I can pay with you. Nah, don't be like that, Brian. Take it as my gift. But. Don't you hear that, Brian? 
Just silent and go with us. Come on. Fine. After three years we are so good friends. I gave them a lot of gifts. Only Brian didn't accept it. Daddy, today is my birthday. Don't you forget? How can I forget? I already bought a gift for you. Oh my god, thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. By the way, happy birthday, princess. Daddy, thanks. I was going to invite some friends to the party. Of course, you can. Why not? Yay. Let me tell them. In the Roblox game. Hey guys, today is my birthday. Cool. Uh, I mean yes. We know today is your birthday. We have prepared a gift for you. Oh well, thank you so much guys. Unfortunately, I was not prepared. It's okay. Brian. Don't forget to come to my party. Party. Oh my god, we love it. Party. Oh my god, we love it. Cool. When does the party take place? 7 p.m. Cool, we will definitely come. Nice. Before the party starts. Wanna play some games? Of course, girl. Sure, why not? Yeah, I wanna play MM2. No, I just want to play Roblox. Okay, bye. Your command, princess. Austin, I'm not a princess. Yes, you're rich. I mean, you're the kindest person we've met. He's telling you the truth, Layla. We love you for who you are, Layla. Yes, that's right. Well guys, I love you guys too. By the way, your outfit is so beautiful. How many Robux do you have? I have 10 billion Robux and 1 million diamonds. Oh my god. What the fuck? You're the richest person I've met, girl. Austin. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Layla, I didn't mean it. You are too polite, right? Layla, can I talk to you about something? Of course. What happened? Brian and Rose, can you guys give us a minute? Okay. Okay. I have something to tell you. I'm listening. I love you, Layla. Can you be my girlfriend? I'm Austin. I know we've known each other for more than three years. But we're just friends. I'm so sorry. Why? You don't like me? No, I'm not. I just see you as a friend. Okay, I get it. But we're still friends, okay? Of course. I still have one more thing to say. Go ahead. I've been having a hard time lately. Can you give me 1,000 Robux? I'll give you 1 million Robux. What? It's too much. I can't accept it. It's okay, buddy. It's just a small number. And you don't even have to pay it back. Oh my god, thank you Layla. You're too kind. You're welcome, Austin. What did you guys just say? Nothing, just a little thing. Anyways, let's play. Yay! Yay! Yay. Four hours later. Layla, come here I need to tell you something. Okay dad. Guys I need to go. See you again. See ya. See, See ya. ya. Hey Austin, what happened? What did you say to her? Nothing. I can't tell them that I got her one million Robux. Just say it. Fine. I want her to be my girlfriend. What? Really? How could you say that? If you become her boyfriend. That means you'll be rich soon. You guys can't say that. I just want to be her boyfriend. I love her, that's it. Ah, so romantic, huh? You can't do that, Austin. She belongs to us. What do you mean, Brian? What do I mean? You all know it. Don't pretend that you guys don't know anything. 
We only play with her because she's rich. Shut up, Brian. She's my bestie. I'm not like you. Yeah, me too. I love her so much. How ridiculous. Austin, didn't you just get her Robux? What do you mean, Brian? You can't get money that fast unless. Austin, say the truth. Ugh, fine. She gave me one million Robux. What? It's too much. Told ya. But it was she automatically gave it to me. I didn't ask for it. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm telling the truth. No, you're a liar. She didn't give us anything unless we ask for it. I swear I'm not. Liar. Ha look at you guys. She's my bestie. I love her. You all are liars. You say you're not the same Brian. No I'm not. Ha now you're a liar. Whatever I know what I'm doing bro. I'm not like you guys. It is obvious. After the party. At the living room. My dear, I have something to tell you. Yes, Daddy. I have a little doubt about your friends. What's wrong with them? I don't know, but it looks like they only play with you because you're rich. No, maybe you're wrong. My friend isn't like that. Don't worry, Daddy. Layla, I have met so many types of people in this world. And your friends look like tycoons. They don't look like your friends. They look more like investors. What do you mean, Dad? I don't get it. I mean, sometimes there are people who are only friendly to you because you're rich. So what's not good, Dad? I can have more friends. Having many friends is good. But what if they don't really care about you? When you're rich, everyone wants to be closer to you. Yeah, I saw it. But when you're nothing or poor, they will immediately look down on you, abandoning you. I don't want that to happen. Don't worry because someone else will be honest with you. There are 7 billion people in this world. You may find a true friend. Trust me. Well, Dad, I appreciate your concern. It's true that sometimes I wonder about my friend's intentions, but I also believe that there are good people out there who genuinely care about me for who I am, not just because of my family's wealth. You have a good heart, Layla, and I believe in your judgment. Just remember to always be true to yourself and surround yourself with people who value your friendship, not your fortune. Thank you, Dad. I'll keep that in mind. And even if it takes time, I'll do my best to find those true friends you mentioned. That's my girl. I know you'll make the right choices. And remember, I'll always be here for you, no matter what. Yes, thank you, Daddy. I get it. Tomorrow. What do I do now? Maybe Daddy was right about them. Ah, I knew it. I will go seek help. Hey, bestie, I need your help. Yeah, what's your problem? I'm suspicious of some of my friends on Roblox. What can I do now? Do you suspect them because they play with you just for the money? Ahaha, ha, I knew it. Don't laugh at me, Corn. Don't call me that. Then you can lie to them a little. Like what? For example, your house is bankrupt. Oh, nice idea. Yeah, I know. Thank you, bestie. I'm going to test it right away. Haha, <laughs> okay, go. On Roblox group chat. Guys, I'm back. Hi, girl. Good morning, Layla. What's up? Guys, I have bad news. What is it, girl? We're always here for you. Yeah, Rose is right. Thanks, guys. The thing is that my father just went bankrupt. What? 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 Crying now. We don't have anywhere to stay. Wait. That means you're homeless now. Yes. Please help me, guys. So, how many Robux do you have now? What do you mean, Austin? I think poor people like you should give us all Robux. Why? Because poor people shouldn't play Roblox. Why can't you talk to me like that? 
aren't we besties? We're only friends when you have money. Now give us all aerobics and then get out. Ha, huh, that's right. Why would you do that to me, Austin? You said that you love me. Are you dumb or something? I love your money, not you. Your asshole. I'm so scared. What will you do to me? Hit me with your money. Oops, now you have no money. I forgot it, ha ha ha. Nice joke, Austin. I know. Stop it right now. It's enough. Brian. Duh, what are you pretending, Brian? Aren't you playing with her for the money? Yes, you're right. But I'm not bullying her. You guys are so mean. Don't act like a hero. You look so stupid, Brian. I'm not a hero or something. I'm just a normal person. Don't treat her like that. That's it. Thank you, Brian. Ugh, let's get out of here, Austin. I don't have free time to talk with them. Yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here. I can't believe they would do this to me. It's okay, Layla. Everything will be fine. You said that you play with me just for the money. So why are you helping me? I'm just like you. My father also went bankrupt. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Now we're fine, but we can't be rich anymore. In the first place. I knew Rose and Austin are that kind of person. But I didn't want to tell you. Why? You'd better realize it yourself. Oh, I get it. Thank you, Brian. Do not say thanks. I'm not doing anything. So, you still want to be my friend? Yes, of course. You and your dad can come to my house. It must be hard for the two of you. Oh thanks Brian. But we still have to find. Don't worry. What do you mean? My dad is not bankrupt? What? So, you lied? Yes. What for? I just wanted to know who his real friend was with me. And you see. Oh, I get it. Clever girl. You're the kind boy. Now I know who my bestie is. Haha <laughs> always be your friend. Only friend you must be hired in our relationship. What do you mean? Wanna be my boyfriend? Damn, you are not a princess. You're the queen. I know it, haha. <laughs> so, your answer? Of course, my queen. I can be your king. I love you, Brian. I love you too, Layla. Sometime later. Ah, so Bor, what do we do now? Maybe we can find some rich friends. Cool idea, let's do it. You look so beautiful today, babe. I'll look at you. Hey guys, we're standing over there. And we're so bored. Can we play with you guys? What the fuck, Rose? What, Layla? Is that you? So what? Are you still doing here? Yeah, now get out and give us your aerobics. You poor noob. Shut up. You two are not worthy to talk to her. Oh, really? Whoever is richer has the right to say it. Yeah, we just feel sorry for her dad. While the house is bankrupt. She can still buy Robux. That Robux should have belonged to us. Yeah, if you're poor, get out. Haha, <laughs> why should I do that? I'm obviously richer than you guys. W what do you mean? I pretended to be bankrupt to see how you guys treated me, and Brian was right. You guys look like shit. What? What? So you lied to us? How dare you? What I want to do it. So what? Will you come and beat me, or use your money to beat me? Oops, my bad, you guys don't have any money. Poor you. Shut up. Don't pretend to be rich and then look down on us. Obviously, the people who despised me first are you. Now, how dare you raise your voice at me? Oh, 
We are so sorry, Layla. Can you forgive us? No, thanks. I don't like to reuse what I've thrown away. Bye, and never see you again. Doubly your wheat. We need you. Wait for us, Layla. Shut up, you two. See, I already told you she's not the type of person you can take advantage of. In the future. Please treat others better. Some people will pretend to be your friend and take advantage of you. But don't worry there will still be people who will treat you honestly. The end. Story 4 Oh, this murder mystery 2 game seems very exciting. I will play it right now. Fiona enters Murder Mystery 2 and starts exploring the game. After two hours of playing, she exits and receives a message from a stranger. Someone messaged me. I will check it out. Hello. I'm Gwyn. We just met in this game. Your name is Fiona, right? Hello, Gwyn. Yes, that's correct. But how did you know that? Because your username is Fionaism011. Ah, I see. It's nice to meet you. Likewise. Have you been playing Roblox for a long time? I've been playing for a while, but I just started playing Murder Mystery 2 today. How about you? Actually, I just started playing recently. Oh, would you like to join a group chat? Of course. Okay, I'll add you to the group, but first, I need to ask everyone's opinion. All right. I'll wait for the answer. It will be quick, don't worry. In the group chat. Guys, guys. I want to add a new member to the group chat. What are your opinions? Adding a new member sounds interesting. I disagree. Why? Well, I think our group dynamics are already working well. And adding a new member might disrupt that balance and introducing someone new could potentially change the dynamic. It's okay, girl. Aurora, I understand your hesitation. But it's worth considering the potential benefits of expanding our circle. I still have reservations, but I can see your point, Gwyn. If we do decide to add a new member, we should ensure that they share similar interests and values with us. We need to take the time to get to know them and make sure they fit well within our group. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, fine. Add her. Yeah, thanks, guys. When adds Fiona to the group. Allow me to introduce. This is my group. Hi. Ha. Huh? Hello, everyone. I'm Fiona. Hold on. Quinn, you didn't mention that she's a girl. Did you ask me? I didn't realize it was important to mention Fiona's gender. I suppose you're right, Gwyn. I shouldn't have made assumptions. Welcome to the group, I'm Aurora. My name is Baron. Hello everyone. Hi Fiona. It's great to meet you. I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. Hello everyone. I'm thrilled to be a part of this group. Thank you for the warm welcome, Aurora and Baron. Everyone, would you like to share photos of yourselves? Sure, why not? It could be fun to see everyone's faces. I'm, I'm not okay comfortable with sharing, sharing photo. my photo at the moment. It's nice to put a face to the names. That's all right, Aurora. We respect your decision. And thank you, Fiona, for being open to sharing. Don't be like that, Aurora I want to see your photo. Please, Aurora. Just this once. It would mean a lot to me if you could share your photo with us. Oh, all right. Baron. Just this one time. All right then. Who will be the first one? How about I go first? I don't mind sharing my photo with everyone. That's great. We're excited to see your picture. We can't wait, Fiona. Show us your photo. Okay, here's my photo. I hope you all like it. Oh my god, you are so beautiful. Aurora is right. Gorgeous. 
Thank you all for the kind words. I'm glad you liked the photo. Now, who's next? Let's keep the excitement going. I'll go next. Here's my photo. Wow, Gwyn. You look really cool in that picture. Your style is on point. Oh, you have such a confident and charismatic presence in the photo. You look amazing. Thank you all for the kind words. It means a lot to me. Now, who's up next? Don't be shy. I'll go next. Let me share my photo with all of you. Appealing. Stunning. Wow, you are so handsome. I'm glad you all liked it. All right, Aurora, it's your turn now. Well, I suppose it's time to reveal myself. Here's my photo. You are incredibly beautiful, why do you have to hide that? That's right. You are absolutely radiant. Are you guys being serious? Of course, we are. You should be confident in yourself. Thanks guys. Winter break is coming up. Have you started planning for the winter break? What are your plans? I'm thinking of going on a skiing trip to the mountains. I love the thrill of gliding down the slopes and enjoying the beautiful snowy scenery. That sounds amazing. Skiing does sound exciting, but I'm more of a cozy winter retreat person. I'm planning on renting a cabin in the woods, cuddling up by the fireplace, and enjoying hot cocoa while reading my favorite books. You're like a hibernating polar bear during winter. Haha. <laughs> that sounds so relaxing. I love the idea of a peaceful getaway. I'm considering visiting a winter festival in a nearby town. That's a great idea. Maybe we can all go together. Yay! Which city are you all currently in? We are all in New York City. It's always bustling with activity and there are always interesting things happening. Oh no, I'm in Los Angeles. Well, since we're all in different cities, how about we change the topic and do something together virtually? That's a great idea. How about we play Murder Mystery 2 on Roblox? Yes. I haven't played MM2 before, but I'm up for the challenge. Okay, I'll create a private server and send you guys the invite. They played the game for two hours. Guys, I have something to take care of. I'll be leaving now, but I'll see you all later. Oh, that's too bad. Bye, Aurora. Goodbye. Aurora leaves. While Aurora is not here, I want to talk about this. What's the matter? I feel like she's been upset since Gwyn added me to the group. What should I do to make her accept me? Oh no. She's not upset with you, it's just her somewhat reserved personality. Are you sure, Gwyn? I can't help but feel like I've done something to bother her. I want us all to get along and enjoy our time together. Aurora might just need some more time to get to know you better. Just be yourself and show her your friendly side. Baron is right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your advice. I'll make an effort to connect with Aurora and be patient. The next day. Hey, is anyone online? Seems like no one. I'll go to Dahood by myself then. Oh, there's a guy standing alone over there. I'll go over and introduce myself. Hello. Oh, hello girl. Hi. Are you alone? Yes, I am. Would you like to join us? I would be delighted to join you both. What's your name? I'm Fiona. I'm Lily, and this is my boyfriend, Steven. Yeah. So let's get started now. Okay. They played the game for one hour. Oh, Gwyn messaged me. I have something to attend to, it was fun playing with you all. See you later. Bye girl. In the group chat. I see you messaged me, Gwyn. What's up? Oh, it's nothing important. Aurora has something she wants to discuss with the whole group. 
Aurora, go ahead and start. I want to add my boyfriend to the group. So, I wanted to ask for everyone's opinion. Of course, that's a yes. Go ahead and add him. What about you, Fiona? Do you have any opinions? Me? Oh, I don't have any opinions at all. Just go ahead and add him. After considering everyone's opinions, I have decided to add Steven to our group. Oh, her boyfriend is also named Steven. Aurora adds Steven to the group. This is my boyfriend, Steven. Hello, everyone. Oh my god. Isn't he Lily's boyfriend? Fiona? Babe, do you know her? Oh, I don't. Then how do you know her name? Well, the username, yeah, it's because of the username. Oh, okay. Fiona, I need to talk to you privately. It's important. Why? Private conversation? Right away, in my opinion. In private chat. Okay, what is it? I will record the screen. Look, I know you recognized me. Please, promise me you won't tell anyone about my relationship with Lily. If you do, I'll have no choice but to hack your account. What? That's not fair. You can't threaten me like that. Oh, but I can. You wouldn't want to risk losing everything, would you? I won't be blackmailed. I believe in honesty, and I won't keep this secret for you. I didn't think you would dare to do that, huh? You're underestimating me. I'm not afraid of you. I believe in standing up for what's right. Oh, how noble of you. Let's see how long your resolve lasts. Fiona leaves. Oh my god, she left before I finished speaking. I will make her pay a high price for that. Steven hacks Fiona's account. I need to show Aurora and Lily this chat immediately. Oh shit. My account has been hacked. What should I do now? Luckily, I remember Aurora and Lily's usernames. So I'll create a new account and message them. Fiona creates a new Roblox account. It looks a bit ugly, but I don't really care. Aurora. Aurora. Who are you? It's me, Fiona. Fiona? Why are you a bacon? Steven hacked my account because I knew his secret. What secret? Steven, he's been hiding from you and dating a girl named Lily. I met both of them in Dahood before you introduced him to everyone in the group as your boyfriend. I don't believe you. But Aurora, I'm telling the truth. I have no reason to lie to you about this. I don't believe that. Steven is a good person, and I can't believe he would do this to me. I understand your skepticism, but please trust me. I don't want to hurt you, but I can't keep this secret. If what you say is true, then why don't you let me investigate and find out the truth for myself? I need clear evidence. Aurora, I understand that it's hard to believe, but I have proof. I recorded a screen capture video of their conversations in Dahood. And the threats he made when talking to me privately. Take a look at this. Fine, show me. Fiona plays the video, showing the interactions between Steven and Lily, as well as their affectionate messages. I can't believe this. How could he betray me like this? I know it's difficult to accept, but I thought you deserved to see the truth for yourself. Thank you, Fiona, for showing me this. I have a plan. What is it? You add me to the group, and I'll add another girlfriend of his to the group. You pretend that you don't know anything. That's a great idea. We'll expose him in front of everyone. Let's do it. I'll add you to the group chat. Aurora adds Fiona to the group chat. Fiona adds Lily to the group chat. What the hell is that? What's going on? Hi Lily, we have something important to discuss. A bacon? Who did you add to the group Aurora? She is Fiona. Fiona? Why are you a bacon? Let's talk about that later. It involves Steven.
When Aurora added Steven to the group, I realized that he was not only Lily's boyfriend but also Aurora's boyfriend. What are you saying? Look! Fiona sent a screen recording video to the entire group. You're also Steven's girlfriend? And you too! Exactly. Oh my god. Unbelievable. At Steven, we need to talk. Join the group chat immediately. Steven joins the group chat. What's going on? Oh my god, Lily. We know the truth. How could you? What? I can't believe I trusted you. You had a relationship with both of us at the same time? We have evidence, Steven. We have video proof of your lies and betrayal. A bacon. Fiona. I. I can explain. It's not what it seems. Save your excuses. You played with our feelings and lied to us. We trusted you, and you took advantage of that? Fuck you, you fucking prick. Yeah you goddamn, mean, dirty son of a bitch. Consider this our final goodbye. I'm sorry, but let me explain. Enough. We've heard enough lies from you. We'll have no right to explain anything. We've discovered your betrayal. Steven, I can't believe you would do such a thing. You've lost our trust. I truly apologize, but perhaps I misunderstood everything. He even hacked my account. Enough. We don't need any more fake apologies from you. You've hurt us, not just once but multiple times. We've done everything for you, but you've taken advantage of our love. I'm deeply sorry for hurting all of you. But please understand that I deeply regret it. Regret cannot undo what has happened. We're ending our relationship with you. Please stay away from us and don't appear in our lives again. Lily removes Steven from the group chat. I would like to propose an idea. Go ahead, Fiona. I think we should add Lily to the group. We have all gone through the same pain and faced Steven's betrayal together. I agree. Me too. Thank you all, I'm really happy to be accepted. The end. Story 5 In game Warning, contains themes of emotional abuse and strong language. Babe. Babe. Robert. He isn't answering me. He's playing a game though, maybe I should check on him. I wonder who we are playing the game with. Ellie Giant the game. Ahaha <laughs> you're so funny. Robert, why are you ignoring me? Oh, Robert, who is that girl with the pink avatar? Morella, this is Ellie. I'm Robert's girlfriend. What? Girlfriend? No, she's not. She's just an eccentric friend of mine who believes she is. Robert? What are you talking A? Ellie, please message me privately immediately. In private chat. What's wrong? Ellie, I have no idea who you think you are, but you can't just go around announcing to the world that you're my girlfriend. What? When you go around telling everyone that you're my girlfriend, it damages my friendships. I'll be the one to decide when I'm ready to share that with people. But you can't go around and hook with every girl. Don't you dare fucking talk to me like that. You're causing trouble. If Morella ends our friendship, it's on you. I swear, if you don't stop talking right now, I'll make sure you regret it, you disrespectful person. Are you an airhead? Oh, I'm sorry. You better be. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't. I don't need to be checked up on. Do you understand? I asked you a fucking question. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry. I just wanted to PL. I don't need a damn explanation. I am sorry. Now leave me alone, for fuck's sake. I guess I'll just go to my friend group then. Ellie Giant the chat. Says the bitch dressed up like a wannabe basketball. Shut up, goofy aw British boy you're dressed up like an emo pirate. Hey guys. Oh my god Ellie baby. Hey Elodie. Hi Ellie. 
It's Ellie, you fucking Asher. Oh, Elodie. Ellie. Ellie. Oh, ha ha ha. Sorry, Ellie. It's fine, don't worry. Oh my god, Ellie baby, you're so cute. Ha ha ha, um, thanks. Ellie, are you okay? You look sad. Ha. Huh. No, it's nothing. Ellie, we know you well. Something seems off. What happened? Asher is right. What's troubling you, Ellie baby? We're genuinely concerned. It's not important. Ellie, you've been looking unhappy for a few weeks now. We know it's something important. Just tell us, we won't judge. Uh, well, it's just my boyfriend. He has been acting weird the past weeks. Oh my god, what has he been doing to you? I swear to god I'll confront him and make him pay. It's okay, really. Ellie, please tell us what happened. I don't want to talk about it. It's fine, I'm fine. Ellie? I have to go my boyfriend is texting me. Nice seeing you guys. Ellie left the chat. Oh, Ellie. Hey babe, I'm sorry for not a. How dare you fucking ignore me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you. Who the fuck were you chatting with? Huh. Just my friends. Friends? Yeah, I a they're a problem. No, not at all. Anyways, I wanted to say that I'm adding you to my group chat. I don't think I'm ready to meet new people. I wasn't asking you. Babe. You know that I have social ANX. You say that just for stention. And again, I I wasn't asking if you wanted to be added. I said I am adding you. Is that so fucking hard to understand? But. Don't you fucking dare to talk back to me, you ungrateful. I'm adding you. I don't care if you want don't want it. Huh. Don't you dare say anything else, you ungrateful. Adding you to this group is already good enough for you, don't you dare act unappreciative. Yes, sir. Thank you for adding me to the group chat. That's how you should talk. I'll manage you in this group, and I'll make sure you won't embarrass me. Meanwhile, in the group chat with friends. It's true, that's Robert. She's always quiet and timid. She might not be happy at all. I've noticed she hasn't been looking happy lately. Maybe something is going on. We have to help her get out of this situation. Robert is not the right person for her at all. Exactly. But she keeps saying she's happy. Can we really convince her otherwise? You're right. We need to take action. Ellie doesn't realize that she's being emotionally abused and completely controlled by Robert. We have to find a way to help her see the truth and support her in breaking free from this toxic relationship. You're right. We need to find a way to make her realize the truth and protect herself. Returning to Ellie. My friends are readying to meet you, at least be grateful that I give you the opportunity to meet them. I'm sorry, I didn't know, of course of course I'm grateful. Thank you for wanting to add me. I love you. Good. That's how I like you, my love. I'll do most of the talking, that better. Behave and try not to embarrass yourself and especially not me. Thank you. I'll try my best. Robert added Ellie to the chat. Oh my god Robert, who is that fine babe you added? She is my girlfriend. Sorry dude, anyways hi cutie, what's your name? Oh um, I, I am Ellie. Damn, Robert. You got a good one right there. Cute outfit, cute voice and a beautiful name. Hey Ellie, we have been wanting to meet you for so long. Robert has told us a lot about you. Really? Yeah, I noticed that too. At first, he acted all friendly, but then he started acting really foolish and ridiculous. It's clear that he's just trying to impress people, but it's not working. 
he's making a fool of himself, and it's honestly quite entertaining to watch. Ha ha ha. Ah, that laugh. That was such a sweet laugh. Ellie baby, you have such a cute laugh. Alex, stop flirting with my girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. Do you get it? Just because you can't attract anyone doesn't give you the right to flirt with her. Improve your attitude. That's probably why you don't have a father. If you want some advice on attracting girls, here's a golden tip, change your unappealing outfit. You look terrible and smell bad. No wonder your father abandoned you. No one wants a child who smells like a combination of rotten eggs, yesterday's pizza, and diarrhea. Oh no, I've angered Robert. Joining his friend group was probably a terrible idea. What if he ends up losing Alex because of me? It's my fault for laughing and encouraging his flirting. I should have known better. Arguing. Maybe I tease better that I don't talk anymore. Ellie? Ellie? My love, you still there? Huh. Oh. Yes, I was just thinking. Sorry. Anyways, let's play something. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ellie. Oh, um of cows. They all joined a hood. 30 minutes later. Ellie, come with me real quick. I want to talk to you. Of course. What's wrong? Oh Ellie, don't you know? Why are you so damn silent? Don't you enjoy the company of my friends? Ha! Huh. You ungrateful piece of shit. No Robert, it's not like that. Your friends are amazing. It's just... What? What is it? Please don't get mad. Just spit it out already. You know I have social and... No. 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 Stop with that bullshit. You don't have social anxiety. You're just shy and attention starved. Robert, please. I'm quiet because I... No. Ellie no. You're just attention starved. Accept that. You do not have social anxiety. Robert. Shut up, Ellie. Shut up. Robert I'm just trying to tell you the truth. I'm trying to open up to you and this is how you react. How dare you fucking talk back to me, bitch. Absolutely not. How dare you treat me like this. Oh you've been threatening me all the time and you're constantly flirting with every damn girl you see on the street. I've had enough of this, Robert. Oh, you really didn't. I gave you everything and loved you with all my heart, and this is how you repay me. Ha! Huh. You ungrateful piece of sh carrot tea. Love me? Have you seen how you treat me? I'm just trying to protect you. Protect me? You stop the CR at P already. That's enough. You're acting like a complete sh carrot T. Can't you see that I'm your boyfriend? And this is how you talk to me. You're so disrespectful. With that attitude of yours, I'm not surprised that no one likes you. I. No one cares about you. Ellie. Keep that mouth of yours shut. Ellie offline. Poor Ellie. How could we not have noticed earlier? There was no way we could. She is absolutely brainwashed by him. She didn't want to tell anything about it either. She knows he's toxic. But why does she still have him that much to defend him? Obviously because Duckhead told her things. There's no time to think right now. Who knows what else Robert will say more to her. We need to help her brask up. She just tried? This clear clearly wasn't their first argument. And he didn't give her a chance to finish? No, she wasn't trying to break up. She just confessed her feelings, she still loves this dude. No, that's a lie. I know how hard this is to believe. But E. Jack is right. She didn't look like she was trying to break up. I don't understand, after everything DHE still loves this dick. Oh hey Ellie. What's up? The sky? 
Oh my god you're so bloody annoying. Ha ha ha. Ellie. Hey. Ellie baby are you okay? Yeah, why? We know what a happened between you and your boyfriend. What? Nothing happened. Ellie. We saw everything. We saw you two arguing in the hood. No, we never argued. I think you're just imagining things. Ellie. You might have just mixed us up with another couple. Ellie, we know who we saw. Don't think we don't recognize your voice. Well, it wasn't us. Ellie, he got mad at you because you tried to tell him that you have social in. What? No, no. I don't have that. Ha. I'm just shy and... Attention starved. Yeah. We know that that's what he told you, isn't it? Ellie. You have a serious mental disorder, he's money. What? No, no, I'm just shy. What the fuck, Ellie? We witnessed everything? Why are you still protecting this scumbag? After everything he said to you? He just yelled at you without any reason. Ellie, can't you see how toxic he is? You need to break up with him right now. Rishima, calm down. Yeah, calm down. You just don't understand. You're right. I didn't understand, I just don't understand why you still proudly call this dick your boyfriend when he treats you like a dog. Ray, that's enough. No, where did the Ellie I know go? Well, she's just happily dating someone while you're just jealous that you're still single. Jealous? Are you out of your mind? I'm happy single. At least I don't get abused by some fucking abusive dude named Robert. At least I don't get abused by some fucking abusive dude named Robert. Rishima enough. Stop, please. I just love him, okay? Let us be we're happy together. I'm going to change my avatar. Ellie left the chat. Rish you went way too far. I don't care. That Robert dude changed her. He's in her head. She can't help it. Have you seen what that Robert said to her? Obviously she's going to defend him. She's afraid. He's manipulating her. How are we ever going to get her back? She doesn't even listen to us when we try to help. Didn't she get invited to Robert's friend group? Maybe they can help. I have a plan. Meanwhile. There, that'll do. Okay. Maybe I should go back to my friends. No. Actually. I think I'll go back to Robert. My friends must be me after what I said to them. But I had to. Robert can't find out. Ellie joined the chat. Oh hey, my love. Oh my god. Ellie, you changed your avatar. So pretty. Aw, oh, thank you, Alex. Ellie, what did I say about talking to him? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry babe. Robert, what the fuck what did you say to Ellie? That she isn't allowed to talk to you. That's what you get for flirting with my girlfriend. I don't care. But you can't decide who Ellie can talk to. That's up to her to choose. Yeah, that's going a bit too far, Robert. Luna is right. Ellie can talk to whoever she wants. Why are you all taking Alex's side? What the heck? He attempted to flirt with my girlfriend, and now she's not allowed to talk to him ever again. Don't you see how wrong that is? He did something wrong and you're punishing her. So? It's not like Alex would stop anyways so I can at least forbid her because she listens to me. Bro? You didn't even ask me shit. You never said I wasn't allowed to talk to her anymore you just roasted me for a full 10 minutes. Please stop. It's fine. No Ellie it's no. Alex left the chat. Rose left the chat. Luna left the chat. Huh. What's happening? What? Where the fuck did they go? Ellie? Did you do this? No, I don't know. I swear to God. Alex joined the chat. 
Rose joined the chat. Luna joined the chat. Where did you guys go all of the sudden? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, uh, Ellie, she, uh, she kicked us. What? Why would they say that? I didn't. Oh, no. Robert's not gonna believe me. This is bad. Did I do something wrong? Why would they blame me? Do they not like me anymore? No. Maybe they never did. Maybe they wanted to get rid of me the day Robert added me. Ellie. Ellie. I'm fuck talking to you. Huh. What? I I am so sorry Robert the first dozen. I don't fucking care, why did you lie to me? Robert calm down bro, maybe she did it on accident. No need to get so mad at her. Well that bitch just fucking lied right in my face. I thought she got rid of that shitty attitude of hers. Babe, I swear I didn't do this, they're the ones I... How many times more do I need to remind you that you're my f carrot king girlfriend? Ellie? And you still have the audacity to blame my friends. Just tell the truth you disrespectful ho 3. Robert what the fuck is wrong with you? Is this how you treat your girlfriend? No wonder she's so shy all the time. She's afraid of you. As she should. She should listen to me. And she's quiet because she's just attention starved. That's not my fault. This is what she gets for not behaving. You're sick, Robert. We're getting a Ellie out of here. You'll never see her again. Fuck you, Robert. No. Wait. She loves me. Not anymore. Bye bye, Robert. No wait. Robert was banned from the chat. Ellie, you know we're always here to help you, right? You don't need to be with Robert anymore. Exactly. Robert has treated you poorly too many times. We don't want to see you hurt anymore. But, but I love him. I don't know how to let go. Ellie, I know it's not easy. But you need to realize that love shouldn't be about being hurt and treated poorly. You shouldn't be stuck in this toxic relationship. But if I leave him, I'll lose everything. I don't know what to do next. It's okay, we've got you. Yes, thank you guys so much. Seriously, I don't know how to thank you guys. It's nothing, we're sorry for blaming you. We needed proof. Yeah, we never would have known without your friends. What? My friends? Yeah. Let me explain. So basically. Huh. What the fuck dude why would you do that? I'm sorry for this, but we have no time. I know you do not know us, but please listen. Nah, first who are you? We're Ellie's friends. Listen, Ellie is being abused by Robert. I know this is hard to believe, but you have to get Robert away from her as fast as possible. She isn't capable of doing it herself, and this can't go on any longer. You're lying. Want proof? Tell Robert that Ellie was the reason why you suddenly left and you'll see. Now go and help Ellie. After the support and encouragement from Alex and her other friends, Ellie finally mustered the courage to break free from the toxic relationship with Robert. With the love and care from her friends, Ellie slowly started to rebuild her confidence and self-esteem. Alex and Ellie grew even closer as they spent more time together, supporting each other through thick and thin. As the days passed, Alex and Ellie realized that their feelings for each other had deepened beyond friendship. They found comfort and happiness in each other's company, and their bond grew stronger with every passing moment. Alex was patient and understanding, helping Ellie heal from the emotional scars left by her previous relationship. The End Story 6 I, I like you. Can you be my girlfriend? Of course I agree. Yai. I love you, Liam. Love you too. Hughes week later. Babe, I have great news. Babe? Yes, sorry. I'm helping me mom. So what do you want to tell? I got Robux. Well, congratulations. I'm going to go change be right back. By the way, babe, can I add my GBF? Yes, sure. 
but make sure she is good. Okay, babe. Hello, Liam. Hi, Yuri. Babe, this is my girl best friend. Hello, nice to meet you. Wait, she's your girlfriend? Are you kidding me? You was always talking about a bacon? Ah, uh, yes, why? You told me she was pretty. But she was just a bacon. Her avatar is so ugly, even her face LMAO. If only because avatar. Then let's do a face reveal LMAO. Okay, but don't be jealous, because I'm more pretty than you. Babe, is this mean she is good? Sorry, babe. Yuri, don't be so mean with my girlfriend. Ugh, fine. This is me. So hot, babe. In mind, wait, they still talking about face reveal? Yuri, you next. Yuri? Uh, no, I'll be the last. Okay, so this is me. So hot. Oh my god. Marry me, Liam. Excuse me. I won't marry you, Yuri. Oh yeah. Guys, I gotta go eat. Be right back soon. Listen, brat. Stay away from my Liam. We already dating. Nice joke. You will see what's gonna happen next if you won't listen to me. I don't care, LMAO. By the way, you still not show your face. I don't want to make a bacon jealous with me so I still care about you. Haha <laughs> jealous? You are jealous with me cause you still can't have Liam's heart. In mind fuck this girl. I'm gonna go. No farewell. Ugh that bitch is getting me nerves. I need to do something, they can't love each other like that. Hmm, just go into the game first. She joins the hood. What should I do now? Hmm, let me think. Meanwhile. Well, my boyfriend's girl best friend is quite a troublemaker. Oh, wait, is that Yuri over there? Where is she going? In mind, where is she? Wait, isn't that her? What should I do to make them break up? What? Is she referring to me? Records. Oh, I know. I just gonna pretend to be that bacon and make them break up. Great. Now, I'll find him. Now I know her plan. I'll text him. Wait, what? I can't send my message to him. My Wi-Fi is lagging. Harley, go eat your lunch now. Okay, mom. Ugh, this message still can't send it to him. I hope he know that is not me. After lunch. Okay, now he messaged me something. Is she already pretend to be me and make us break up or not? Meanwhile. Oh, Harley's texting me. Reads the message. What's wrong with her? Harley's POV. Oh, he replies to me. Harley, why do you want me to be couple with Yuri? I don't like her. I only think of her as a friend. Maybe you are drunk Harley because you told us are a cute couple. I won't explain it to him. I'll send the video. Sends the video. Okay, done. I'll playing while I'm waiting for a message from him. Wait. He's playing the hood with Yuri. She must be looking for attention with him. I'm gonna join. She joins them. Hey. She got shot by many stranger and there stomp her. Poor people should not playing here. This game is just for rich people. This game is only for pro and rich people. Poor bacon. Five minutes later. Haha <laughs> first time to get into this game and immediately bullied a lot of people. Wait. I think I found them. I'll go to there. Yuri, please stop that. No ha 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 ha. In mind I know she is looking for attention. Babe, look at that bacon. She is making us break up right? I told you to stop call me babe. Liam. I want to show you something. Liam. Don't hear what she says. She just wanted to make us break up. Stop saying that we are dating, Yuri. Let's talk on WhatsApp, Liam. Okay. On WhatsApp. I'll send you this video. 
watches the video by Harley about Yuri earlier. What? So that was her? Yes. I can't believe it. But we still not break up, right? Yes. I should confront her about it. You don't need to do that. Why? Don't worry. I have a plan. How? Tell me. Tell's plan. Okay, that seems great. Let's go. What took you guys so long? We'll be a couple again. What? You still want to be a couple with an evil bacon? Yes. She explained why she did that and I forgive her. In mind up my plan has failed. We gotta go see ya. I don't know why, but I feel bad for her. In mind I can't believe he feel like that to her. Harley? Uh, oh yes. I know what you're thinking about. But don't worry babe, I will never like her. Hmm okay. The next day. Babe, someone gave me Robux. Are you giving me this Robux? No, seriously. Okay then, I think I'll use. Wait, babe, I think you better not use it first, maybe that is illegal Robux. Maybe someone hate you and gave you illegal Robux for a trap. Yes. You right too babe. By the way, how many Robux do you got? 10,000 Robux. That's a lot. Hello, Liam. What do you want? Shut up, Harley. Hey, Liam, do you got Robux today? No, but Harley got it. I got it too. So why do you not use it? I really want to use it, but Liam told me to do not use it first. In mind this Liam, I hope my plan not gonna be failed again because of him. Why do you not use it? You seem super ugly with this bacon avatar. I'm scared if that is a stray of illegal Robux. Liam told me like that too. That's not illegal. I already use it. And nothing happened to my account. Hmm. By the way, Liam, wanna play the hood? Sure I guess. See you later babe. Oh okay. I think what she say was right. Maybe Liam was pranked me. I should use it. 30 minutes later. Oh my god. I'm so pretty. I really like my new avatar. I'll looking for a friend. Joins Ragdoll. Server, something may wrong. I can't join it. What happened? My Wi-Fi is not lagging but I can't join it. Maybe later it's gonna be normal again. I gonna eat my breakfast. After eating breakfast. Okay, let's open Roblox again. Wait, what? My account is banned. Who did this? I'll text Liam that my account is banned. In WhatsApp. Hey Liam. My Roblox account is banned. Seriously? I can't believe that. What did you do earlier until make your account got banned? I don't know. After I eat my breakfast, my Roblox account already got banned. Then how we can play together again? Maybe I can use my sister account. Okay babe. Logs into Harley's sister account. Oh my god. My sissy avatar is so pretty and rich. Search Liam's account. Oh hello. Your avatar is so good. Liam, it's me, Harley. Harley? Is this your sister account? Yes. Okay, let's play to hood. Okay. But I'll use voice changer. Cause I don't wanna typing. I just want to talk with my mouth. Okay. Erm testing. Wow, you seems like a real guy, Harley. Thanks. Let's go now. But will join Yuri's experience cause only her experience as few people. Okay, but I kind of suspect her. She told us about the Robux earlier. Maybe she was giving me illegal Robux for my account to got banned. Why do you thinking like that? Because when we first met, we were already enemies. Okay then. But you don't want to change name too if we meet her inside. Oh yeah. Just call me Jenny. Because my sister username is Jenny. Okay. In the hood. Hello guys. In mind of this bitch. Oh hello Yuri. Meet my new friend Jenny. Oh hello Jenny. My name is Yuri. I don't ask what's your name. 
Also, I already know it when he call you. In mind, this rat is so weird. Oh, okay. Let's play then. They played for two hours. That was very fun. I know, right? Someone is getting to her account. Where is she going? I don't know. Wait, she is playing Get Eaten. Okay, then let's join her. Meanwhile with Harley. Jenny, why are you getting in Roblox? Because I want to play. But I already told you that I borrow your account. Oh yeah, sorry I forgot that. With Yuri and Liam. There she is. How, huh, why she left again? I don't know. But let's follow her again. In the group chat. Sorry guys I was lagging and joining the wrong game. By the way, Yuri, can I talk to you in private? In mind why she wants to private chat with me? Sure. I need to tell you something. What is it? I think I like you Yuri. Will you be my girlfriend? Oh my god. For real? Yes. So what's your answer? But I... I'm rich. Yes, I want to be your girlfriend. Thank you so much babe. By the way, do you want some Robux? Well, I already have a lot of Robux. But if you want to give me, then okay. Okay, then give me your password. But you trust me, right bae? Of course anything for you babe. It's... Okay, thanks babe. By the way, let's go back. Liam must be waiting for us. Okay. Hey, you guys are back. Yes. Let's play. Okay. They played for two hours. Guys, I want to sleep. See you again. I want to sleep too, babe. See you again. Okay, now let's get into her account. Enter's password. Wait why her avatar is like this. Is this not her account or what? Never mind I'll ask her tomorrow. The next day. Yuri, wake up. Yes? The password was not for your account right? What do you mean? I already tried to log into your account with the password but that's not your account. LMAO you trusted ha 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 ha. So you are lying. Of course no way. I'll give my password to someone like you, Harley. In mind how she can know it was me. I'm not Harley. I'm Jenny. LMAO, I already know it from your sister. We are best friend and she told me her sister was borrow her account. Haha <laughs> can't revenge? Why you not answer? So you lying about the Robux and what Liam say was right? Yes haha. <laughs> Also, I was just kidding to be your girlfriend, so you can leave. Ugh, fine. She's scared, LMAO. How she can know someone's password? Is she a hacker? Wait, the account is online. I'll ask who is she, maybe she was a part of Yuri's family. Oh, hello, why do you add a poor user like me? In mind, he is a kid. Hello, what's your name? My name was Lei. Are you a part of Yuri's family? Yes, I am. How do you know? She is my girlfriend. She never told me that she has a boyfriend, I mean girlfriend. By the way, do you know Yuri's Roblox password? Yes. Can you tell me what's her password? No. She said don't give her password to anyone. But she need it. She told me forgot her password, so she told me to ask you. And she playing while I'm looking for you. Okay then. This is her password. In mind he's so naive. Thank you, Lei. Enter Yuri's password. Whoa. Her brother was not lying. Let's get revenge lol. One hour later. Let's play Roblox. I miss Harley's angry face. The fuck? My account is banned? Is this what Harley did? How she can know my password? Wait, maybe Lei give my password to Harley. Lei. Yes, sis. 
Give me your account. Here, sis. Yuri joins Roblox. Harley. Oh hey, why do you use your bro account? I know you make my account got banned. LMAO, you know that. How you can know my password? Of course, is your bro LOL. Why you are so mean? So you are not. But I just... Enough Yuri. Shut up. Liam, why you aren't on my side? You should be on my side. Why I have to do that? Cause I'm your girl best friend. And she's my girlfriend. By the way that's my revenge. Lamau, you deserves it. I already heard the story, you were trying to steal me away from her. What a pity. Your plan was failed. Remember, I don't like you. And never like you. So stay away from us okay? And I don't want to be your BF anymore. You don't deserve good things. Harley, we just go out of here. Sure babe. Liam and Harley left the group chat. Ugh stupid guy. I hate this bitch, she stole my everything. I swear I. Lay's account was banned in the server. The end.